everyone. You've just caught me enjoying a really good book. Now, most of you know there's nothing I love more than reading a good book. Actually, that's not true. The one thing I love more than a good book, more good books. I absolutely love them. And today's assembly is going to be a little bit about reading and books because this week we have World Book Day. But before I talk about World Book Day, I would like to talk about our French value of respect. Now, respect. I think that's one of the most important values we have. And I was trying to think how books can link to our uh, French value of respect. And it got me thinking, what do books do for us? Well, books let us into other people's lives. We can travel to different countries in books. We can meet lots of different people in books. People we might not meet in everyday life. We might learn about different cultures in books. Again, cultures that we might not come across in our everyday life. And by reading about them, we begin to understand them. And by understanding them, we can learn to respect them as well. And I think that's how books link to respect. Now, in my book, there's a little girl who doesn't respect books at all. In fact, she thinks they're pretty useless. And when I started reading this book, I wasn't sure I was going to like the character of Mabel. You can see her on the front cover there. But I'm going to share the book with you and see what you think. This book is called I Don't Like Books. Never, ever, the end. Mm, bit of a funny title. And it's by Emma Perry and Sharon Davey. And I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Mabel. A girl who didn't like books. Never, ever, the end. But... The books just kept on coming. She was given books on her birthday. A book? Oh, thanks. She was given books as treats. Another book? Really? She was even given books just because. But I don't like books. Never, ever, the end declared Mabel. Mabel used those books for many things. She used them as a step to reach her super secret shelves and as a doorstop to keep her brother out. She even used them as a sled to slide bump, bump, bumpity bump down the stairs. But she couldn't be bothered with the stories inside them. Then one day when she had slurped dinner off two of them, juggled with three of them, then made hats from four of them, Mabel's books decided that enough was enough. They wanted to be read. It was time for action. So that night as Mabel tried to get comfy in her bed, something started to happen right in the corner of her room. There was a racket, a commotion, a hullabaloo. The noise grew and grew and grew until... Books, books everywhere. They zoomed and zipped around the room. They flipped and flapped above her head. shouted Mabel. I've got better things to do than bother with books. But the books flew faster and the flapping grew louder until Mabel started falling. There was a rustling, a crackling, a flick of a page 
and Mabel found herself deep in the pages of an unread book. <gasps> Yikes! Who are you? asked Mabel. Hey kid, watch it, said the detective. I've got a case to solve. Really? What happened? Missing diamonds. You'll need to read the book to discover who done it. And the detective disappeared over the page. Wait, cried Mabel. I'd be great at solving crimes. But Mabel was too late. There was a rustling, a crackling, a flick of a page, and she found herself in a spaceship. Mission control, we are ready for takeoff, said the astronaut. <gasps> a trip to the moon, said Mabel. Let me come, I love space. This mission continues over the page, said the astronaut. Five, four, three, two. But Mabel was too late again. There was a rustling, a crackling, a flick of a page and she found herself on a drawbridge. Good day, young lady. Pray let us pass. We've castles to seek and dragons to duel, said the knight. Wow, really? Can I come? Hmm, tis an unusual request from someone who didn't want to read our story. This isn't fair, said Mabel. Exciting mysteries, space missions, and now your adventure. I want to join in. Oh, indeed. Tis a shame you've got better things to do than bother with books. And the knight galloped off up to the edge of the page, leaving Mabel alone on a blank page with no stories, no adventures, nothing. Just then, far in the distance, Mabel could hear a flapping. It got louder and louder until she felt herself falling and falling back into her bedroom. She glanced around and finally she saw stories and adventures piled all around her. Mabel picked up a book and snuggled under the covers. She discovered the stories tucked inside. The words, the adventures, everything. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Mabel. A girl who loved books forever and ever. The end. Well, I'm so glad that Mabel learned to respect books and the things that they can teach her. And I'm so pleased that it had a happy ending. Didn't like that title at first, but it had a happy ending and a new title of Liking Books. Now, here at French, we like to have fun on World Book Day and this year is no different, even though some of us aren't in school and some of us are. So we've decided to put on a little bit of a special event and I'd like to show you an advert for it now. It's the show that keeps you guessing. Your favourite celebrities perform in disguise I know the voice. as you and our panel try to solve the mystery of what? I know who this is. Who, who is, that? is behind? That's Mel B. I'll eat your head. <laughs> the mask. <laughs> How exciting! So some of you might have seen the Masked Singer on TV, where celebrities. 
uh, hide behind a mask, but they sing a song and the judges have to guess who they are. Well, we're here at French, we are doing the Masked Reader, where two of our teachers, who we think are super celebrities, are going to be reading stories this week, and you have to guess who they are. Now, on Tuesday, we are going to have a story from Frenchy Fox, and on Wednesday, we will have a story from Shanty the Unicorn. Uh, you can watch them, and if you think you know who you are, who they are, please keep it to yourself for now. But you can drop a clue in the comments for people who might not be quite so sure. Our special readers will be unmasked on World Book Day, which is Thursday the 4th of March, along with a special video. So be sure to tune in for that. Now, on World Book Day, as well as unmasking our mass readers and showing our special video we will also be doing a story safari now as you most of you might know usually we travel around the school and we visit different teachers and have stories from them obviously this year that's not uh that's not appropriate for us to do we're not able to do that so we're doing it a little bit differently in the morning you will have a zoom call with your class teacher and you will share a wonderful story there then in the afternoon, you will be asked to attend another Zoom call, but from a <gasps> surprise teacher. So be sure to join in and find out who's going to be reading you a story in the afternoon. Now, again, on top of all of this, we usually come to school in costumes, something we're not able to do this year. So we thought, what would be fun? How can everybody join in? So... Our thought this year is, if you're at home, stay in your pyjamas and dressing gown all day. And imagine you're in a constant bedtime story mode. If you're coming into school to be in one of your bubbles, come to school in your pyjamas and dressing gown as well. Be sure though, if you're coming into school, make sure you're wearing your sensible shoes because you will still go out to play but still be wearing those pyjamas and dressing gowns. I wonder if your teachers will come dressed in their pyjamas and dressing gowns as well. Who knows? So we have lots of exciting things planned for this week and for World Book Day. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of a reminder of what's happening when. So on Tuesday the 2nd of March, we have our first masked reader story that will be Frenchie the Fox on Wednesday the 3rd of March we will have the second masked reader story from Shanti the Unicorn don't forget to look on YouTube for those videos okay well book day is Thursday the 4th of March if you are coming into school to be part of a bubble, come to school in your pyjamas and dressing gowns. Don't forget to wear your usual sensible shoes though, because you probably will be going outside. If you're staying at home, wear your pyjamas and dressing gowns at home all day. Get that bedtime story vibe. You will be having a Zoom story with your class teacher in the morning, and then a Zoom story with a surprise teacher a little bit later on in the afternoon. And don't forget, our masked readers will be revealed in a special video. Now, finally, before half term, Mrs. Sinclair set a family challenge to get caught reading. And you had to send in a video or a photo of yourself being caught reading somewhere unusual. We had lots of different entries and it was really, really hard to pick some winners. But we have done and I would like to show you them now. In lower school, our winner is Georgia from 1C. We were super impressed with how Georgia had managed to persuade the donkeys at Bodnam Arboretum to come and share her beautiful Elmer book. Well done, Georgia. And in upper school, it is a family prize. So well done to Joshua in 5E and Maisie in 2W. We were very impressed that they could concentrate on their books, even though they were hanging upside down. Well done to everyone. So well done to Joshua and Maisie in upper school and to Georgia in lower school. Brilliant get caught pictures there. Fantastic reading from you all. Now, 
because they did so well. We've got some prizes here and you can see them in front of me. We've got a family prize here for Joshua and Maisie and we've got an individual prize here for Georgia. Uh, inside there are lots of books that we think you might like there are some reading everyday mugs some reading everyday badges some bookmarks some hot chocolate and some marshmallows to go with it as well so you can have a yummy scrummy hot chocolate whilst sharing your new books so well done to everybody who took part don't forget to look out for our winners and lots of other people who got caught reading in our special video on thursday have a wonderful book filled week and I can't wait to see what we all get up to on World Book Day.